नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का ई विद्या चैनल नंबर टेन पर मैं हूं देवेंद्र त्रिपाठी और इस सेशन में कक्षा दसवीं के लिए क्लास टेंथ के लिए सोशल साइंस का सब्जेक्ट और इसके अंतर्गत बात होगी रिसोर्सेज एंड डेवलपमेंट पर क्या होते हैं रिसोर्सेज और क्या होता है डेवलपमेंट और इन दोनों का आपस में कनेक्शन क्यों इम्पॉर्टेंट है इन दोनों पहलुओं का इम्पॉर्टेंस क्यों है देश की अर्थव्यवस्थाओं में देश के लिए समाज के लिए इस विषय पर हमारे साथ बात करने के लिए हमारे दर्शकों हमारे छात्रों के साथ कनेक्ट करने के लिए और इस विषय को पढ़ाने के लिए हमारे साथ जुड़ चुके हैं डॉक्टर भैरूलाल यादव जो कि डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन इन सोशल साइंसेस एन सी आर टी न्यू डेली मेसिस प्रोफेसर हैं सर आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है नमस्कार सर थैंक यू सो मच देवेंद्र जी और स्वागत अपने सभी दर्शकों का मैं करता हूँ साथ ही साथ आपसे आपको बता दें कि इस इंटरेक्टिव लाइव सेशन का पार्ट बन सकते हैं इसके लिए आप नोट कर सकते हैं फ़ोन नंबर फ़ोन नंबर है डबल एट डबल ज़ीरो डबल फोर ज़ीरो डबल फाइव नाइन इसके माध्यम से इस टॉपिक के इर्द गिर्द कुछ भी प्रश्न पूछना चाहते हैं विशेषज्ञ से या अपनी प्रतिक्रिया इस कार्यक्रम के संबंध में देना चाहते हैं आप लिख सकते हैं ईमेल एड्रेस नोट कर सकते हैं ईमेल एड्रेस है डी टी एच डॉट क्लास टेन एट द रेट सी आई टी डॉट एन आई सी डॉट आई एन तो लगातार इंटरेक्टिव लाइफ सेशन का हिस्सा बने रहिए और समझिए आज सोशल साइंस में रिसोर्स एंड डेवलपमेंट के बारे में सर व्हाट इज रिसोर्स एंड डेवलपमेंट अगर हम uh, सबसे पहले यही प्रश्न पूछें तो इसे बच्चों को क्या समझना चाहिए रिसोर्स से क्या समझना चाहिए डेवलपमेंट से सो गुड आफ्टरनून देवेंद्र जी एंड गुड आफ्टरनून दो जो ज्वाइंड अस ऑन लाइव एंड एज फार एज टूडे टॉपिक इज कंसर्न टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग रिसोर्स एंड डेवलपमेंट एंड यू हैड रेज अ वेरी पर्टिनेंट क्वेश्चन दैट वाट डज इट मीन बाई रिसोर्स एंड वाट डज इट मीन बाई डेवलपमेंट जी सो देवेंद्र जी हैव यू एवर नोटिस वाइल ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम योर होम टू ऑफिस और बैक दैट वाट एवर वी सी इन नेचर ऑलमोस्ट आई दर दे आर यूजफुल और दे आर गोइंग टू बी यूजफुल इन द नियर फ्यूचर वेन एवर वी सी बट इफ़ दे आर यूजफुल देन अंडर वाट कंडीशन दे आर यूजफुल इफ दे आर यूजफुल फॉर द फ्यूचर देन अंडर वाट कंडीशन दे विल बी यूजफुल सो इन ऑर्डर टू जज समथिंग द प्रोडक्ट और द मटेरियल दैट वी हैव इन नेचर देन देर आर द सर्टन क्राइटेरियाज दैट आर नेसेसरी इफ वी अप्लाई दिस क्राइटेरिया देन वाट एवर इज अवेलेबल इन नेचर दैट कैन बी रेफर्ड एज रिसोर्सेज एंड लेट मी टेल लेट मी डील द सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट ऑफ एक्शन देन वाट डज इट डेवलपमेंट वेन एवर वी से वेन वाट इज द डेवलपमेंट देन वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट डेवलपमेंट इज सच ए कॉम्प्लेक्स प्रोसेस कॉम्प्लेक्स डेफिनेशन दैट इट रियली डिफिकल्ट टू डिफाइन द डेवलपमेंट बट यूनिमसली ऑल द स्कॉलर्स अक्रॉस वेरियस स्ट्रीम दे एग्री दैट डेवलपमेंट इज द जर्नी इट्स नॉट ए डेस्टिनेशन इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट दिस इज द पर्टिकुलर डेस्टिनेशन इफ यू रीच देयर देन वी आर डेवलप्ड बेसिकली अंडर द चेंजिंग सिचुएशन एंड वी नो दैट द चेंज द कॉन्स्टेंट फेनोमिना सो दैट डेवलपमेंट इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट बट ईच एंड एवरी वन एग्री दैट डेवलपमेंट इज द इंक्रीमेंटल पॉजिटिव चेंजेज इट इज द वैल्यू एडिशन इट द क्वालिटेटिव इंप्रूवमेंट ओवर द क्वान्टिटी सो विद दिस इंट्रोडक्टरी नोट इफ यू अलाउ अस दैन इफ यू अलाउ मी देवेंद्र जी दैन वी कैन गो एड फॉर द for taking the topic to the another step that is the resource right, and development right sir right sir so to as far as today delivery is concerned i have classified the whole topic into four broad section the first is the introduction and thereafter we will be taking the classification of the resources and thereafter development of the resources and once we understand the development of the resources and where we have gone and thereafter the concept of sustainable development and resource planning we will understand so whenever we see the introduction of the resources then we have to see that whatever we see in the nature either they are useful or they will be useful if they are useful then we see that under certain conditions under the application of certain dimensions whatever we see in nature that is the useful the raw form that we the raw product that we get from the nature then either they are directly usable or under certain conditions certain technological assess under, under certain technology as uh, accessible economically feasibility and culturally acceptability if we see or if we judge any kind of the product whether that technical technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable then the particular product can be termed as the resources so the resource is really really very very dynamic concept as far as today scenario development economic development is concerned so in continuation with this whenever we see the process of the development then there are the three different approaches three different dimensions of the resources the first dimension is that physical environment that we get the product from the nature 
The another, th another dimension is the technology. Whenever we see any product with the application of the technology that really becomes the usable. And whenever we see this process of the resource, then after the application of the technology, the product become more useful, the product become value added that they really satisfy our needs and the requirement. And the energy, you know that each one cannot do everyone. So, in order to make ease in the people's life, in order to make the life simple, the human being form the institutions. Institutions are nothing but they are the organization of the formal thing in order to achieve something to particular target. So, in order to access the resources, we need technology, we need institutions and definitely with the application of this human being interact with the nature through the technology and create institutions to accelerate the economic development. So, that is what it is the basically the introductory part of the resources. Okay. And Sir, it, it means that there are physical resources available across the uh, globe and uh, apart from this, uh, there are human resources also. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of human resource as you said that uh, the any, any kind of any, any institutions uh, form of as uh, 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 association of uh, uh, three things, physical, uh, human resource and technology. Okay. You know, so whenever we see the human resources, these are the group of the individuals and basically the natural resources that really satisfy our needs and the requirement. Right. Whenever we show human resources, then technology plays an important role and whenever we say the human resources, basically the efficiency, the quality of the human being, if you are qualitative competent enough, then we can extract the resources, we can modify the resource and in fact, we can create the resources. So, whatever if you can, whatever you have said and if I continue, then the resources are the function of the human activity because these are the human activity that decide the dimension of the resources. And the second important point is that human beings themselves are essential component of the resources. So, therefore, they transform the material available in our environment into the resource with the help of the technology and if, if we apply the technology or the natural products or the rough form that we get from the nature, then the human being usually create the resources. So, that is all about the introductory part of the resources. So, Devinderji, if you have some more questions regarding the introduction, then we can deal. No. Sir, sir uh, is, is there uh, mineral oil biotic or pro uh, ab abiotic resources? So, as far as mineral oil is concerned, what is, whether it is the biotic resource or the abiotic, we will deal in a short file, short file from now. Right. So, the if we start that, that resource that we have, then the pertinent question comes how to classify the resources. Whenever we see out of our window, some products are really biotic, some are abiotic and those who are biotic, then they have some sort of the biotic nature and there are certain abiotic which does not have some sort of the living characteristic in them. So, whenever we classify the resources, there are the certain basis on that we can classify the resources. The first common is the first parameter in order to classify the resource is that on the basis of the origin. And whenever you say on the basis of origin, then the biotic and abiotic resource can be classified in these two categories. The question come, what is the biotic resource? So, all the resources which are achieved and obtained from the biosphere and have life such as the human being is a classical example of biotic resource, flora, fauna, fisheries. Livestock are also example of the biotic resources and collectively all the biotic resources that we have broadly they can be classified into three broad categories and these categories are like producers, those who produce the resources, consumers, those who consume the resources and the third categorization is the decomposers, those who decompose the dead products. And as far as abiotic resources are concerned, these resources are composed of non-living things like light, rain, rock metal, soil, etc. they can be classified as the abiotic resources. And as you had asked, Devinderji, as you had asked whether the mineral oil is the biotic resource or the abiotic resource, then techn technically the mineral oil or the fossil fuel, they are referred as the biotic resources because their origin lies in the biomechanical process. So, whenever we see the resources, the further aspect of the classification is the uh, the for another class, the second aspect of the classification is the on the basis of the ownership. Devinderji, you need you own some resources, you own some you can say the um, property aspect. I own some property aspect. There are the individuals who own certain property aspect, and there are the national resources, and there are the certain the international resources. Whenever we say individual resources, then these are the resources which are owned 
pro owned privately like we owned our house we owned our plots house property and they are referred as the individual resources if there is a group of the people that really own the resources that is the community and whenever you say community then like the community resources like the grazing grounds burial public parks picnic spots they can be referred as the uh, community resources and whenever we talk about the national resources whatever pertains in a particular country then all belongs to a particular nation and that collectively referred as the national resources and whenever we talk about the national resources then nation can access the individual or the community resources for taking the steps in the public interest like many times road ports they are constructed over the particular place and the individual properties are taken into account so considering this factor that the nation has its own resources and there are the certain resources that is above the national resources and they popularly they are known as the international resources like open sky sky above, above the control that is popularly referred as the international resources like <coughs> seas deep seas and the in zone beyond the exclusive economic zone that is also referred as the international resources and the last classification as far as resource is concerned then on the basis of the status of the development and thus this classification is mainly the resources mainly classified into four broad categories like res potential resources developed resources stock resources and reserve resources and whenever you talk about the potential resources then we know that all the resources which have the potentiality to satisfy human needs and requirement in the near future but widely they are not being used in the present time the reason being is that the either technology is not that much popular or the technologically they are very very costly the second class of second type under the status of development is the developed resources if the resources are well established they are constantly being used under the given technology and they has become the sources of the masses of the people then they can be referred as the uh, developed resources the third one is the stock resources the material in the environment which have the potential to satisfy the human needs and beings they have they are popularly referred as the stock resources like we know that devendra ji the hydrogen is a very source of the you can say the energy but at the present form the water that we have that is the composed of the two molecule of the hydrogen and one molecule of the oxygen but under the given technology that is very prototype we cannot use the water as the source of the hydrogen but we know that whenever the technologically we will be developed we will be in position to use the hydrogen as the resource the last one is the reserve resources as the name indicates that they are the reserve for the future use that is the basic classification of the resources so devendra ji if you have any kind of the question we can deal we can take up the questions yes, yes sir hmm. i have a question in my mind that you are talking about you are talking about uh, international resources yeah definitely and the, the only is there any any other form of international resources available apart from sky and oceans when we talk about the international resources and the global technological effort that are taken new form of the technology that can be taken into account with the effort of the multiple countries and whenever you say about the international experiment for taken that is taken for the welfare of the human being that popular can also be referred as the international resources okay mm -hmm. and apart from uh, th these three things mm -hmm. we are talking about uh, sky ocean and technology, technology. The, in which uh, more than one country uh, more, uh, more countries are involved mm. and uh, those countries are agreed to uh, available this technology mm. uh, in uh, public domain for uh, across the globe uh, uh, south pole and north pole jise hum dakshini dhruv aur uttari dhruv kehte hain kya in par bhi sabhi deshon ka natural resource ke taur par unhe jaanchne parakhne ya istemal karne ka adhikar hai because the resources which are available on the north pole and south pole they are governed by the international rules particularly by the united nations but what is happening today the countries which are technologically very very advanced in fact they are taking the advantage the countries which are lagging behind in the technological development and technological movement they are lagging behind in terms of in terms to access the resources which are available on the north pole and the south pole for research and development the research and development and the for the future resource use and so on so for yes kyunki jis tarah se hum dekh rahe hain global warming ka prabhav badhta ja raha hai aise mein jo uttari dhruv aur dakshini dhruv par glaciers hain unko lekar ke research aur 
कह सकते हैं कि शोध और अनुसंधान दुनिया भर में चल रहे हैं ताकि ये पता किया जा सके कि उनका जो पिघलने का दर है वो कितना रैपिड है और जितना ज़्यादा तेज़ी से वो पिघलेंगे उतना ज़्यादा तेज़ी से ओशंस में ओशन जो एक रिसोर्स रिसोर्स भी है इंटरनेशनल भी और साथ ही साथ नेशनल भी वो कई बार चुनौती बनेगा हाँ बिल्कुल आई हैव टू एग्री विद यू दैट कि इफ़ द टेक्नोलॉजी का एडवांसमेंट इज टेकिंग प्लेस देन टेक्नोलॉजी गिविंग और इनफैक्ट टेक्नोलॉजी इज लीडिंग अस टूअर्स टू इम्पोर्टेंट डायमेंशन वन टेक्नोलॉजी इज गिविंग द अल्टरनेटिव सोल्यूशन फॉर द ग्लोबल प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन नंबर टू इज दैट टेक्नोलॉजी इज ऑल्सो गिविंग द एज टू द सर्टेन कंट्रीज फॉर एक्सप्लोटन एक्सप्लोटेशन ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज सो द टेक्नोलॉजी हैज इट्स टू डायमेंशन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द यूजर इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द पर्टिकुलर पोलिटिकल कंट्री अंडर वाट कंडीशन एंड इन टू विच डायरेक्शन दे यूजली टेक दिस टेक्नोलॉजिकल अपग्रेडेशन यस सो नाउ यू आर यू आर गोइंग टू टॉकिंग अबाउट सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट Uh, yes we will talk about the sustainable development but before entering into the sustainable development and the resource planning i want to briefly discuss about the development of the resources so devinder ji as i have discussed now ki whenever we see the resources then in order to make the things usable in order to make the things that can satisfy our needs and the requirement the development plays a very very important role and whenever we see the use of the resources resources are useful in order to make our life easy and they are also useful for the human survival ship and definitely for the qualitative improvement and for the economic development and whenever we apply the technology for the resource use does it really gives the extra rise to exploit all the resources no, no it's not no, like that no, it no. means that we have to use the judicious we have to use the resources very very judiciously and the development of the resources significantly is influenced by the caliber of the human resources now now i am coming to the point that you raised in the beginning of the lecture that is what do you mean by the human resources so as the technology is developed by the human being in fact the resource which are used by the human being that it completely depends on the human caliber and whenever we say human caliber it is the technological upgradation it is the creativity of the human being and how under what notions they are the technology is used for the resource utilization so the majority of the earth resources which cannot be used the same way as we are using reason being is that the reason being is that because if we keep if we keep exploiting the resources then how long we are in position to use because they will be exhausted very soon and another important aspect is that to transform these material into the valuable usable resources appropriate technology must be applied during the processing as a result the quality of the human resource and the technology both are really very very important in order to understand the technol and the relationship between technology and the resources so with the help of the technological input if we keep going if we keep increasing the use of the resources then this is bringing two important dimensions towards the human life number one the exploitation and the depletion of the resources number two accumulation of the resources in few hands who are the few hands those who are technologically very enabled and technologically very very efficient so if they are owning the resources then the society particularly the international level is divided into two broad groups one is the those who are having the resources other is not having the resources or popularly they are also known as the rich country and the poor countries and whenever we see this accumulation of the resources and exploitation of the resources and if this continue then the ecological crisis plays a important role and if we see the ecological crisis then the an equitable distribution of the resources has become essential for the sustained quality of life in the global pace and if the exploitation of the resource continue if the accumulation of the resources continue that will create many kind of the problem and in the future and in the in the future our planet will be in the danger so therefore resource planning is essential for the sustainable development for all form of the life and sustainable existence is the component of the sustainable development because if you don't think about the sustainable development then the ecological imbalance that we are going to face the climate change that we are constantly we are facing the global warming that we constantly we are facing thing that will create huge problem for the existence of the flora and fauna devendra ji some more questions devendra ji yes uh, sir as you were talking about uh, the judicious use of resources mm. 
वी आर और शुरुआत में ही आपने एक बात कही थी कि जो रिसोर्सेस हम इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं वो भी रिसोर्स के तो अंतर्गत आते हैं लेकिन कुछ ऐसे रिसोर्स भी अभी धरती के अंदर होंगे जिनका उपयोग अभी तक नहीं हुआ है या जिनका एक्सप्लोरेशन नहीं हुआ है और रिसेंटली जब से मोबाइल और जो डिजिटल गैजेट्स हैं जिनका उपयोग ज़्यादा बढ़ा है लिथियम की डिमांड बढ़ी है लिथियम बैटरीज की मांग बढ़ी है ई इलेक्ट्रिकल व्हीकल की डिमांड बढ़ी है तो लिथियम जैसे रिसोर्सेस क्या और भी ऐसे रिसोर्सेस ग्लोब में हो सकते हैं एक मेरे दिमाग में प्रश्न आ रहा था हाँ. कि क्या कुछ ऐसे रिसोर्स हो सकते हैं जो फ्यूचर में दुनिया को बदल कर रख देंगे हाँ बिल्कुल आपने यू रेज ए वेरी पर्टिनेंट क्वेश्चन कि लाइक द लिथियम डू देर आर एनी अदर रिसोर्सेज वी नो दैट दे कैन बी फुलफिल द नीड्स एंड रिक्वायरमेंट इन द फ्यूचर बट एट द प्रजेंट टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस टू दैम द क्लासिकल एग्जाम्पल इज दैट द मैगनीज नूडल्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन द बेड ऑफ द इंडियन नोशन बिकॉज टेक्नोलॉजिकल एक्सप्लोरेशन दे यूजली से दैट कि दर एम्पल ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज आर देर पर्टिकुलरली मैगनीज नूडल्स इन द इंडियन इन द बेड ऑफ द इंडियन नोशन बट एट द करंट टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस दैम सो डेफिनेटली एज द टेक्नोलॉजी अपग्रेड्स एज द टेक्नोलॉजिकल अपग्रेडेशन हैपन इन द यू नो एट द इंटरनेशनल लेवल वी विल बी इन पोजिशन टू एक्सप्लोर द रिसोर्सेज सो विद दिस Apart from that, if we go, if we think about the ecological crisis, then we have to think about the sustainable development. So, Devendra Ji, whenever we talk about the development, then we know that the development should be the sustainable. But right. the pertinent question comes: What does it mean by the sustainable development? Right. We know that the resources that we are having. it's have the three important components we are using the resources for the present generation right. number 1 right. number 2 we have to use the resource we have to reserve the resources for our future generations right. because it's not like that ki if we have the technology we can, can consume all the resources we have to think about the future generations too definitely and another thing another important dimension is that ki if we keep continue exploiting the resources then what will be what will happen with the nature because it is the nature that really nurtures us so we have to think about the nature too so the the sustainable development is the one we can use the resources without compromise the needs and the requirement of the future generations number 1 and number 2 we have to protect we have to preserve our environmental environment too so whenever we talk about the sustainable development we have to take care about the present development we have to take care about the future needs and we have to take care about the uh, we can say ki about the nature which are available in the Uh, the resources which are available in the nature sir i have one question in my mind and we are going to uh, uh, end of the session uh, reaching out so uh, i have a question that uh, what is the importance of recycling in sustainable development can so, you uh, briefly uh, tell our listeners in fact the, whenever we talk about the recycling in the recycling of various resources then we have to think that it has become the need of the hour we are no longer in position to use and throw the culture, use and throw culture we have to think if we are using particular product is there any scope after using it to recycle it and further make it reusable there are the certain plastic product there are certain the iron iron product that are really necessary in order to recycle them once they are being used and once we recycle them then they can again fulfill our needs and the requirement right so for sustainable development recycling is a very important and essential component and we uh, uh, as sir said that it is need of our to focus on recycle process so ye tha aaj ka hamara session class 10th ke liye social science ka aur isme aaj aapne jana डेवलपमेंट और रिसोर्सेज के बारे में और ये सब कुछ बताने के लिए हमारे साथ उपस्थित थे डॉक्टर भैरूलाल यादव सर आपका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद हमारे दर्शकों के साथ थैंक यू देवेंद्र जी एंड आई विल बी हैप्पी दैट आई हैव ज्वाइंड हेयर थैंक यू वेलकम सर और धन्यवाद आप सभी का लेकिन अब समय हो गया है आपसे विदा लेने का आपसे चाहूँगा अनुमति आज का सत्र समाप्त करने के लिए लेकिन आप बने रहिए अगली कक्षा के लिए और अगली कक्षा नौवीं की होगी जिसमें साइंस का पाठ पढ़ेंगे और टॉपिक रहेगा टीश्यूज़ तो टीश्यूज़ को लेकर आपके मन में अगर दिलचस्पी है क्यूरसिटी है सो स्टेट विद ई विद्या चैनल्स थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग एस नमस्कार